Hey guys, I have a review today for the Dictionary Diversion Book Safe with Lock. Um, I was super excited when I was chosen to do this review because I've always been like that doofus that always was like, like in love with Sherlock Holmes and like Clue and like murder mysteries and like all of that stuff. Okay. And like in all those stories, there was always like the mansion and on the bookshelf in the huge library, there was always that one book that held the secret, you know, it had like, it was cut out in the middle and it held the, the jewels or the, the antidotes or whatever it was. So ever since I was a kid, I've been a real big fan of hiding things and I've always wanted a book save and now I have one. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Um, new English dictionary. Okay. It looks like a book. Um, until, you know, if you, if you write up on it, you can tell that this is plastic, but really, who gives a crap? But anyways, like, what thief is like, hmm, is this a real book? Like, you know what I'm saying? It would definitely fool your kids if you had something to hide. <laughs> okay, so you open it up, and this is the top of the lockbox. When you go to unlock it, that's how you unlock it, is this way. So... Um, let me put the combo in so I can open it for you. Okay. And then you turn the knob and it opens and, you know, it's enough for, like I said, passports, um, like extra, extra petty cash. I don't know if anyone else still does that, but I sort of like hide money in my house for the days when, you know, we're broke and... The kids need something or an emergency of some sort. Um, yeah, like I said, passports, um, credit cards, if you don't like to carry them, keeping them in here would be probably a good idea. Uh, birth certificates, stuff like that. It is not fire, it's not a fire safe, so it's not fireproof. But, you know, if you're optimistic like me, you don't believe that fires are going to happen to you. I know they can. But, you know, I'm optimistic. Um, but yeah, so this is perfect for any small things, you know, you want to keep your jewelry in it, you want to keep uh, your passports in it, you know, stuff like that, spare money, um, I wouldn't go as far as saying like putting the crown jewels in it, um, but you know, it's good. Okay, so to set up your lockbox, um, you, you get instructions, um, it's very easy. The first combination, when you go to open it the first time, is going to be 000, just like everything else. Just like your remote on your TV, that's your password. You know what I mean? You guys know what I mean, right? Okay. Anyways, so here's the lock mechanism. Um, when you want to change it, you slide this over to the B, B setting, and then you go and you set your, your numbers. Um... And then you open it back up and you set it back to A and that's it. It's done. That's your, that's your jam. And then you just screw up the numbers so that no one knows what the password is. Make sure that your box is locked before you do that because it will just open. Okay. I will put some on your horse. Just give me a sec, babe. He's playing Minecraft right now. So he, he wants me to put armor on the horse. I don't know. Okay. The baby one. But yeah. I like it. Um, I think it's good for what I need it for, um, which is putting my, you know, my special magic cards, maybe a tarot deck or two, and some of my weirder little things. This is like my little treasure chest. Um, and my kids wouldn't know the difference if they were like snooping, looking for something. Um, you know, like I said... I doubt a thief would be like, is this fake or real? Like, I don't think so. But, I mean, it's good. It's cool. It's a good price. Um, I got this at a discount through the company. I never get paid for any of these things, and I would never, ever, 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 ever give a good review to something that did not deserve it. Ever. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll watch my next review. If you really like to watch these, you know, you could always subscribe and you will get emails and stuff telling you when I post new videos. So, yeah.
You know, you don't have to. I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>